Google recently released a new Google Maps product called the Places Insights API to provide an easier solution to understand the density and distribution of places. The Places Insights API addresses the limitation of the existing Places API, which lacks a filtering feature. In this video, we'll learn how to use the API to discover Places Insights in Python. To get started, Navigate to console.cloud.google.com. If you don't already have a Google account, you can sign up for one. It's completely free. Select the drop-down on the top to create a project if you don't already have one. Keep in mind that since Places Insights is part of the Google Maps product line, the $200 monthly credit for Google Maps products also applies to its usage. In the navigation menu, under APIs and Services, click Library. We'll enable two APIs. First, go to the Places Insights API and enable it. Then navigate to the Geocoding API and enable that API as well. To generate an API key, under APIs and Services, click Credentials. On the top, click Create Credentials. Then select API key. Save the API key and close the window. For demonstration purposes, I will hard code the API key directly into the script. However, in practice, you should store the API key securely, such as in an environment variable or a configuration file. Create a blank Python file. In the script, Import either HTTPX or requests Python package to make request calls. I created three helper functions to simplify the workflow. The region ID lookup function takes a region name and returns the corresponding place ID, which can be used with the location region filter. The getBusinessInfo function takes a place ID and returns the business or region information, such as the address, phone number, rating, and other details. And the getPlaceInsights function accepts a request body in the form of a dictionary object that specifies the parameters. If we examine the function, we are basically just making a post request to the ComputeInsights endpoint and return the output in JSON format. To make a request to the Place Insights API, create a JSON body object to define the parameters. If we look at the parameters, the Places Insights API needs two required parameters, insights and filter. The inside parameters allows you to specify the insights you want to compute. Inside count returns the number of matching places, while inside places returns places IDs that meet the criteria. Keep note that if you include inside places in the parameter, the places insights API will only return place IDs if the output count is 100 or less. For filters, Location filter and type filter are required. Operating status, price levels, and rating filter are optional. A location filter can have one of the following types, circle, region, or custom area. The circle type specifies an area as a circular region with a defined center and radius. The region type specifies an area by using a place ID provided in the place parameter. The custom area type allows you to draw a custom polygon and input its coordinates into the request. I will demonstrate each of these location filter types with examples. In this case, I'm using the circle location type, providing the geographic coordinates of the ferry building in San Francisco with a radius of up to 200 meters. The type filter defines which types of places to include or exclude. You must specify at least one included type or primary type. A list of supported types can be found in the link provided in the description below. 
from the type filter I'm saying, return only restaurants, excluding coffee shops and bakeries. And for the operational and pricing levels parameters, use the enum values to define the conditions. The operating status has four options, not specified operational, temporarily closed, and permanently closed. And the price level has six tiers, from free tier all the way to very expensive. All the enum values are available in the link provided in the description below. Rating filter should be self-explanatory. You specify a minimum, maximum, or both average user ratings, ranging from 1 to 5 with a single decimal place. To make a request to the Places Inside API, call the GetPlaceInsights function with your API key and request body as the arguments. If we look at the output, Given the parameters we define, 13 businesses met the criteria. And if you want to get the details of those businesses, call the getBusinessInfo function with the place ID. To use region ID or place ID as the location filter, use region as the location type and use place as the filter key with value as places slash place ID. And to get place ID of a specific location or region, create a variable to define the region. Then call the region ID lookup function to get the corresponding place ID. Update the place ID in the request body and run the getPlaceInsights function again. Now, because the output returns more than 100 items, we cannot use inside places as the inside type. Remove the inside places inside type and run the function again. And we get 1,604. Lastly, to use custom area location filter, set the location filter type as custom area and set the location type as polygon. Then define the coordinates as showing in the request body. And we get 5500. That's all for the Google Map Places Insights API tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.